How's it going everybody? My name of course is System Z and I have got a very fun and very simple build for you all today. Ever since Minecraft 1.13 has come out, everybody everywhere seems to be fascinated with living underwater. So I thought it'd be very fun to build a house within a fishbowl so that not only can you live underwater, but you can also live with your fish friends, which Sounds very weird now that I think about it. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna start by showing you my fishbowl house design, then I'm gonna move on to show you how you can build one of your own. And what I really love about this design is that it's 100% customizable, so you can truly make it your own. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so like I said, this is a very simple design overall, but a very fun and delightful one as well. I really recommend you guys give this a shot in your own survival worlds. In creative mode, this took me about 20 to 30 minutes, but it'll probably take upwards of 40 to 50 in survival, assuming you have all of the resources nearby, like the coral and the sand and the glass. But ultimately, guys, this is my fishbowl house, and I absolutely love it, mainly because you can customize it to no end, and you can bring any you know aquatic life in here that you really want to, and call it your own, and really just make your own ecosystem. As for living, we have our basic living room here and our kitchen. It's it's all in one spot. It's basically a studio apartment fishbowl, but hey, what can you do? It's it's a fishbowl, so of course it's gonna be small. But yeah, we got our basic chairs here. Of course, some storage with our inner chest and our normal chest. A furnace with a chimney because you gotta make sure you get rid of the, the smoke because otherwise it'll destroy the ecosystem and that is not a good thing. But overall, we've got basic decorations mixed with a little bit of sea life with the core Coral, the nice balance of you know different terrain and the sand kelp and seagrass of course and I think it all just comes together nicely and with the colors of the fish it really just pops and it's just such a colorful you know atmosphere to be in and if we look below we do have a conduit basically guys you are not able to be saved from phantoms up on this level because they can actually still get you even if you're underwater that being said I've created almost a maintenance room if you look in the top right corner we do have conduit power this is essentially where I have stored the conduit. This allows us to breathe underwater and move freely as if we weren't even in water, as well as even break blocks a little bit easier. The only thing I don't like about it is it kind of has a heartbeat sound, which can get a little overwhelming if that is all you're listening to, so consider turning your noises down or just be aware of it going forward. But this is where I've also placed things like beds and brewing stands, things that can't really be placed underwater. Now to light it up, I've just hidden some glowstone behind these paintings and really just made this feel like a maintenance room that way you can get some sleep hide from the phantoms and be safe overall but yeah guys that is basically my fishbowl house design and i absolutely love it because it's so customizable with the new 1.13 mechanics you really have no need to copy this build block for block you can take the different mechanics and customize it to no end you can do different colored glass you can do different fish to provide different color and life you can even do turtles and dolphins with name tags and they won't despawn you can even put soul sand if you want bubble columns and really just place the sand in any direction, any place you really want. Different colors of coral, different interior blocks. There's just so many different possibilities. And I'd really like to see what you come up with after this tutorial as well. So if you do manage to build your own fish tank, please send it to me on Twitter because you can do different colors, different sizes, different shapes, all that kind of stuff. And it's truly remarkable. 1.13 has been absolutely amazing so far. But guys, that being said, let's go ahead and see exactly how to build this fish tank and hopefully you'll apply some of the lessons that I teach in your own fish tank. But guys, let's go ahead and get started. So building your fish tank is going to take a couple of different decisions from you. You're going to need to figure out the height and width that you'd like to make your fish bowl as well as the general shape. If you'd like to use what I use, then you can copy these two circle designs that I've basically used to create my sphere. I essentially started with one base on the bottom using this design and then used four blocks above that using this design, capping it off with another of the same design that's on the bottom to create my sphere. From there, I went along the top layer and placed spruce slabs along with the top half of the glass to create a trim. After that, you're going to want to dig underground by one layer and replace the grass underneath the glass with sandstone. Continue on by digging five more blocks down and create a conduit so that you can breathe underwater and have the conduit power that it puts off. 
Using sandstone, you'll then want to create a floor to hold the sand so it doesn't fall, and then start by using sand, sandstone slabs, and stairs to create the terrain inside of your fish tank. You're going to want to use different levels here to really make it look like sand has just been poured into the fish bowl and really get that natural look. Following that, you're going to want to use coral, seagrass, and kelp to bring in more colors and life to the atmosphere. And then add your decorational blocks like bookshelves, a crafting table, a furnace, chairs, etc. This step is entirely optional, but you can also create a second layer for a bedroom and also a shelter to hide from phantoms. Basically, just use the space underneath the sandstone floor that you built to place anything that really can't be placed underwater, like a bed, you could do a brewing stand, flower pots, etc. For lighting, you can use glowstone behind paintings and also break open some sandstone and place some glass to reveal the conduit so that it also shares its light. And to get up and down, you'll want to basically create a water elevator to travel. And now for the fun part, adding fish. You're going to want to go out into the ocean with a couple of buckets and find any fish that you deem fit for your fishbowl. Basically just collect them up by right clicking on them and once you place them in your fishbowl, they will never despawn. You can also get dolphins and turtles if you'd like, but you'll need a name tag, otherwise they will despawn. To finish it off, make sure to decorate the outside with leaves, grass, and stone, and maybe even create a pathway and you are pretty much done. So now you have a fishbowl house in Minecraft 1.13. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. That way you won't miss out on any future building videos or live streams. And with that being said, my name has been System Z. You guys have been incredibly awesome, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.